from on board the USS Rafael Peralta, an SM-2 standard missile is fired into the Coral Sea. Hey, there you go. Just days ago, in the same waters, a Chinese spy ship was tracked heading towards Australia for exercise talisman sabre. These photos capturing what the ADF says was a courteous encounter with one of its P-8 Poseidons. Back on the Australian mainland, the multinational military drills are ramping up. Change the magazine! Change the magazine! Where Australian forces are training particularly closely with the Americans. So I think it's very important that the Australians and the Americans work together before we go into the box. Yet again, this country's turning to its closest ally for an expensive defence purchase. The government confirming an almost $10 billion order for 20 new American-made C-130 Hercules transport planes. Will almost double the fleet and represents a massive uplift in capability. They'll gradually replace 12 older versions based in Sydney. Defence sources tell the ABC the government will soon confirm another boost to Australia's air power by acquiring two new air-to-air refuelling aircraft. The KC-30s are considered crucial for projecting military force further afield. But for now, any final deal is being kept under wraps. I'm not in a position to comment on hypotheticals that are out there. With multi-billion dollar deals and increased joint exercises, it's clear the Americans and Australians are getting ever closer. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.